Hey, mes amis. How y'all are today? Cajun Coin Hunter. On call. Well, there's a giveaway mail call shout out to Bill J. Version 2. Okay. <laughs> Version 1 is long gone. So, I think he's waiting on that one to come back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, YouTube... Kind of did away with uh, version one, but not getting into the particulars on that, which I don't know all about that. Uh, I won a few things on Bill J's channel during his live stream. Y'all need to go check him out. He comes on around 1.30 Central Standard Time. He's in uh, Eastern Time. I'm in Central, so... Uh, Central time, one thirty to 2, somewhere in there. He's pretty consistent on that also. Just about every day. Except if he has something to do or coming back from a concert from the day before. Yes, he is a uh, uh, an old rock uh, music fan, which I am too. I love my country music, old classic rock uh, Eagles, you know, Molly Hatchet, all that, so, Cajun music, Swamp Pop, yeah, I was raised on it all, so, it's all good to me, so anyway, the, uh, it was a trivia question, question of the day, and it was, uh, what returned on the Jefferson Nickel, it was uh, 2006, and I already knew that. I didn't have to look it up because I was Johnny on the spot, and it was Monticello, or Monticello, however you want to say it. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Depends on what part of the country you're in. Okay, well, here's 1958. A BU. Yes, awesome. Very beautiful coin right there. Beautiful. Butamus. 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 Yeah. Uh, 58 D. 58 D. Lincoln Weedy. I'm a stickler for the Weedies. I am. I love the design on the back and the front. I just love the way the Wheaties shine. For some reason, a BU Wheaty is a prettier coin than any other one. Uh, Jefferson Nichols, they are nice. I love them in BU. The only one I'd rather uh, BU, than, and which I did have a couple, were the Buffalo Nichols. Yeah, I did have... A couple of those. Oh, and the uh, Indian head. There's a 1910 V-nickel right there. Turn that over. Make sure I get the V right on it. And there it is. Wait. It's hard to see through the plastic. All right, and then the Grand Slammer, Kennedy Half, 1966. That sucker is in like AU or MS-60 condition. Let me take a look at that. Get my loop out. Uh, anyway, I was talking about the to be used. Yeah, but uh, beside the wheat penny, the buffalo nickel, and the Indian head penny, those are very beautiful in BU. They just have so much detail to them when they in BU. Let's see, this is in, oh, and it's got some nice toning on it too. Wait a minute, where's the FG? Oh, there it is. I see it. Got some beautiful toning on it. 
And I'm going to say this is an AU better, you know, like MS-60, MS-61 maybe, you know. It's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, well, Bill J version 2, you know, uh, I hope this video helps you out. And, uh, you know, get you a couple of more subs. Y'all go check him out. Sub him. He's getting to a thousand there. So, y'all go hook him up. Get into free giveaways every day. Never know. You might win something. Might even win one of my coins on there. I did send Bill J some uh, 1959 to 1964 BU. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. BU from the Rolls. Pennies. Show them off a little bit right there. Yeah. Cincinnati Branch. Federal Reserve Bank. Cleveland. I was the first one to open these. I mean, they were tight, tight. From a reputable coin store. Not an eBay store. Federal Reserve Bank. Cleveland, Ohio. All of these, all of them pennies were, look, look at that old wrapper right there. That's period from that era. I wrote that on there. Nobody else did. I did. Look at that. Well, what does that say? Oh, Chase Manhattan Bank. Yeah, they were around for a long time. Uh, what is this one right here? Uh, New York. Oh, that was made by. This is a Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Yeah, no, Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And these were the uh, small date, 60D memorials. All right, y'all guys, uh, I got to get out of here and uh, get me something to eat. Y'all go check out Bill J version 2, all right? We'll catch y'all. Pluto.